man, go get you some equity. You know, Jay-Z talks about this. You're getting, you know, so many of you young brothers are getting an advance while I'm picking up the equity. Ooh, yeah, they're trying to get the, the get rich quick. Let me give you the money now. Give it now. to me now. Where the publishers get getting long-term residual income for decades yeah. Yeah. off of Ke- your, Kevin off Hart. Of Look work. at what Kevin Hart did with this with this show, right? He owns that show. He owns the ticket sales. He was willing to promote it, not just be a comedian. Where Richard Pryor showed up and got his check, told his jokes. Uh, Kevin Hart says, "Yeah, I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna tell my jokes, but I'm gonna own, I'm gonna own the entire platform, the equity." So, how do you get someone to give you ten thousand dollars when you have nothing? To give them a return or what is it that you're selling them uh, a greater promise in return so what I did was I pitched this guy I said look he's a business owner he wants traffic in his company every every business owner wants traffic every entrepreneur wants traffic to their website and I said look I'm gonna drive traffic to your store he owned a mattress store big margins and I said I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure you have the biggest weekend that you've ever been here and uh, I said, if you give me $6,000, I'll take the six grand to the store. In fact, you don't give me the money, just call it in and approve it. I didn't want to touch his money. I never asked anybody for any money. And I said, I'm gonna go run a promotion for you. I'm gonna put together the banners, the logos. I'm gonna stand out in the street. I'm gonna drive the traffic to your place. What do you want, Grant, uh, Lewis? What do you want, Lewis? Uh, I did that more than once, by the way. What do you want, Lewis? And <laughs> you I, did? Because my name was Lewis, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, dude, I don't want anything. He tried to give me money to do this. I don't want your money. I just want the opportunity. I want to prove myself. Because what I really wanted from him was I wanted him to front the bill at the print shop Mm. so that he could put me in play. Well, I went and ran the whole promotion that weekend. I said, "If if you send them, if you just authorize the spend, I'll conduct the promo. I'll run it and do it. We did $91,000 worth of mattress sales. We did 15,000 that weekend and then another 65,000 over the the next three weeks. And he's like, dude, you're a star. Now, Now he's like, hey, what do you want for what you did for me this weekend? That was the best weekend we've ever had. And I'm like, I don't want anything except to be your partner. So, so you wanted equity? I want to be your partner, dude. And I said, (laughs) I want 15% of the upside of your company. I said, what's fair? He's like, 15%. Everything above what I'm doing now, I'll give you 15%. He, he's the one that made the offer. I said, that's awesome. Wow. And then that's when I said, hey, can you give me an advance of 10,000 on the 15%? People think that I asked for 10 grand. I actually didn't get 10,000. I got an advance on a partnership, which is even wow. better. Wow, that's fascinating. So you never really, asked, you never asked for money. You said, give me equity with everything. Give me equity. You know, people are like, I need to ask for more. Yeah, but you don't want to ask and be, look stupid. Like you can't yeah. ask somebody to give you something of a company they already have. Also, it's interesting because they did, again, they didn't show this and, and I look forward to kind of breaking this thing down. We're gonna actually, I'm gonna create a whole platform where I go in and break the show up and show people what they didn't see. Quit going for some dead Benjamins and start mm. getting you some equity, okay? $100 bills are dead, they're from the past. Equity is the future. You're better off with a future, if you believe in yourself, than you are with a dead Benjamin.